Hi, all my earth signs. Welcome. This is a singles reading where I will do a five card spread. And this is from the Light Sears Tarot deck. As you guys can see, I have already poured out your five cards. And I have this additional mystery card here. Guys, comment down below if you can guess what your future partner's your possible future partner's card is, that would be great. So yeah, of course, this is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, and this is not only for the sun signs, this is also for your rising, your Venus, and your moon. So if you have any of those in your chart, then guys, this is definitely for you. Or if you are a cross watcher and you wanna learn more about your possible future partner or your future partner or the person you're already in a relationship with or a situationship, hey, no judgment here, then this is definitely the reading for you. So like I said before, this is a five card spread and what it does is it talks about some key issues in your life that you need to work on or that you need to hone in on more in order for you to bring the right partner to you and so that you can become the right partner for someone in the future. Okay, it could be the um, very near future. You know, so these tools, guys, I suggest that you grab a pen and paper and write these things down. Uh, if you have to watch it more than once, hey, do what you have to do because this is definitely one that is filled with lots of information that you guys can uh, take and learn. And so we're going to do them like this. So the first card, which is the Five of Swords, this beautiful card here. Uh, it's a five of swords and this one is going to talk about the key issues that you're facing in your life the second one is the six of swords and this one is going to talk about your behavioral patterns this third one here is the uh, three of wands and this is going to talk about your areas that you need to grow in your life now this next one here is the area where you need to change and this is the queen of pentacles very beautiful card, right? Uh, and you have the hanged man in reverse. Now, this is what it looks like when it's in the right position. But, yeah, of course, like I said, you have this in reverse for your five card. And, of course, you have your mystery card here for the person in the future and things you can work on so that you can possibly land him or her. So... Uh, let's go with the first card. This one is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords, anytime you hear swords in a reading, that indicates communication, which is probably why I couldn't speak earlier and needed to take a seat. These things you need to work on, I'm sure you've heard your partner say this in the past, that you need to work on uh, compromising. You need to work on letting things go. You need to work on how to do the proper way of solving conflicts, okay? Because when this card is in the upright, this talks about battles, arguments, conflicts, uh, defeat and surrender. And breaking it down into layman terms, uh, a lot of you, um, and this, like I said, this could be Virgo, Tauruses, or, um, <laughs> or the other earth sign that always slips my mind when I'm reading is um, Capricorn. Guys, let's just be honest here. There's a lot of battle of wheels. There's a lot of arguments and they can get nasty. Okay? This card stuck out like a sore thumb. You guys know that this is honestly probably the key issue and the thing that is hindering you from finding the right partner. And the thing that you have to remember and the thing that you have to learn is that love does not hurt. Let me say that one more time. Love does not hurt, okay? If you're in a situation where it starts to hurt and you're feeling beat down by the person that you're with, that is when you need to learn to choose yourself, okay? Because sometimes winning the battle is just walking away, okay? Whether that's, you know what, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to go into the other room. I'm going to count to 10, I'm going to leave this situation alone, and I'm going to come back when you're feeling better, okay? Or maybe your partner is the one that's being argumentative in the past that you've dealt with, and you're like, ah, you know what? I'm going to them, I'm gonna give them some time to breathe, or you ask them to take some time to breathe, and then you all come back when you're ready to have a mature conversation that doesn't involve screaming, yelling, and cursing, okay? Because that is not healthy. When you get to the point you start disrespecting your partner, you're disrespecting yourself as well. And 
I'm getting for a lot of people that a lot of your issues in the past stemmed around money. Okay, it stemmed around money and work. You may have had partners in the past that have said to you plenty of times that you work too much. You work too much. Why are you so focused on money all the time? I just want you to spend time with me. And you're like, okay, I'll spend time with you. And then when the weekend comes, you're like, listen, I'm going to spend time with you. But so-and-so called me and they said that they have another job for me to do on the side. And I'm like, look, if the bills don't get paid, who's going to pay the bills? Now, that's true. Okay. And trust me, I'm all about making a dollar. But what you have to understand is this is where you are causing self sabotage this is where you are not putting the needs of your partner into this relationship and you're making it where you're becoming selfish self-centered and this is when the hurt starts to kick in you may start seeing a pattern or you may have noticed a pattern in your past relationships while either you started cheating or your partner started cheating or um, there was other bad habits that kind of came into play. Maybe you found yourself, because you work so much, you're like, oh, but I need a break now. I'm done working. I don't feel like having to deal with this and that. So instead of spending time with your partner, like really spending time with them, if you live together, you cohabitated, you would come home and you would be with them, but you would be emotionally checked out. The only thing that concerned you at the time was having a meal and having your feet kicked up, but you're not understanding that your partner especially if you have someone that's like more sensitive more caring more nurturing then you may not have realized that this person needed you and not just the physical you okay not just you sitting there they needed someone to hold them they needed someone to ask them how their day was maybe this person in the past was like um if you were uh, say you say you're you, you're divorced now and you're looking to put your feet back out there maybe in your marriage you're trying to figure out what went wrong and how I can make sure I don't make that mistake again when I meet someone in the future maybe you emotionally and physically neglected your partner and because of this the two of you started having a lot of arguments a lot of conflicts then in the midst of everything you started losing respect for each other that became infidelity started to come into play or the thoughts of infidelity came into play or the need to overwork in order for you to take away the focus of what was going on at home you decided to pick up more hours which made more stress for the relationship more stress on the other partner and if you all had kids together then that person not only had to run the household had to take care of the kids they may have been somebody that worked outside the home as well or worked in the home and they took on the brunt and just li literally became a single parent in a marriage and the breakdown happened you woke up one day and you're confused because being very self-centered and only mostly thinking about self and always feeling as if, you know what, um, instead of listening, I'm just going to be combative. And in the end, you found yourself alone. And this is not for everybody, but I'm definitely picking up on some people that are divorced, that are hurt, that are confused. And it may have been their first time even coming and listening to tarot readings. They actually probably thought that this was silly or something that they felt might have been like something that doesn't align with their spirituality. But you discover that with the tarot readings, it is actually something that's been helping you during this time. And you discover that it's just another portal of spirituality for you. Or some other way of helping you because right now you're literally confused and in some of you you're scared and you're like I don't want to end up alone I'm too much of a nurturing person or I love to be in a relationship but I don't know how and I don't know the tools hopefully someone can help so this is wow that's a lot of the key issues okay i didn't expect that to be that long i got a feeling that um this is going to be one that i may have to do some edits because it might be really long <laughs> but let's see let's get into the next one here okay and this one is the six of swords so with the six of swords uh this next one here talks about your behavioral patterns okay these are some things that you found yourself constantly constantly doing and um 
I'll just go ahead and just mention it. For a lot of you, um, you have an issue with feeling trapped within a relationship to the point where you start to run away from your problems. Um, you keep going back to trouble or back to, 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 to unhealthy damaging relationships that does nothing at all for your self-esteem. And you constantly live, okay, stuck, okay? Just imagine an earth sign and you got all this earth around you, but then you start diluting yourself with so much water that dirt becomes mud and that mud becomes deep and you become stuck in it, okay? A lot of you are stuck in your past. You need to move on from old relationships that did not serve you. And if you are looking at these things and you're single now and you want to say, you know what, I need to work for a relationship that I feel like I neglected. I neglected too quickly. You need to learn that this is now the time, okay? If you were ever looking for a sign, now is the time, okay? Now is the time to reconcile after fights. This is a time to leave your stressful situations behind. Uh, that one of the issues that caused you in the past to lose a good relationship or one you felt was a good relationship. Let me ask you, was it, was it your job? Was it things at your job that caused you to start neglecting your relationship? Is this a pattern in your relationships where always a lot of work is coming up in this discussion? Someone definitely puts work before everything. They put financial situations before everything. There's a time and a place and you got to learn how to come compartmentalize uh, these situations or it's going to. This is going to always be a problem if you don't fix it. OK, and then you're going to find yourself surrounded by a whole bunch of money. But you don't have a partner. And life is not fun if you don't have someone to share that money in and that time with, okay? Not saying you have to settle and be with anybody, but you need to fix those issues and find a balance in your life, okay? There needs to be a balance in your life of work, relationship, spirituality, family, etc. It does not always have to be about the almighty dollar, okay? At all. So, um, the, the good thing about the Six of Swords card is that when it's in the upright position like it is here, uh, this talks about accepting that you need to learn some lessons, that you do need to leave some things behind, uh, that you do need to move on. So, if some of you are still dealing with unrequited love or you're still dealing in unhealthy relationships, look at her. At the end of the day, she's all alone on this boat and she's not afraid. She's actually going towards her happiness, okay? And that's what you need to do. You need to move on, okay? Move on from anything that does not serve your greater good, period. So let's take a look at number three. This is the area where you need to grow. Look at how beautiful this is. I love taking a look at Wands card. This is a three of Wands because Wands signify fire. They signify movement, passion, strength. And every time I see them, I just smile. I don't know. It's something about it because you know when you see this, you know you need to get up and you need to make some changes and you need to move to the next stage of your life, relationship, uh, career, etc., etc., etc. But yeah, this is the area here where you need to grow. Now, you need to grow when it comes to limitations. You limit yourself a lot. Um, you let a lot of obstacles get in the way. Uh, a lot of frustration. And you got to find a way to channel those. Maybe channel those into something positive. Um, you definitely need to, for some of you, work on your confidence. Work on some different ways to build your confidence um, and not live so much in the past and not be so pessimistic. Um, I do find that a lot of earth signs tend to be pessimistic. Like somebody can say, oh, tomorrow's going to be a good day. And you're like, oh, why are we talking about tomorrow being a good day? We don't even know. Tomorrow is not even here. You could be dead tomorrow. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> it's like lighting up, 
okay it's just a metaphor like everything doesn't have to be literal okay it's just a saying it's something to keep you going maybe you should tap more into those ways in which a fire sign anytime you think of a fire sign especially like a Sagittarius um, well, I'll just name them all pretty much. Sagittarius, Leo, and also we're dealing with the Aries. I find that these people, especially if it's very heavy in their chart, and this could be uh, the type of person you may need to go for. This could be somebody, or this could be heavy in your chart, and maybe you need to tap more into uh, this part of you. But every single fire sign, no matter how professional they are, Everyone I've known has been the life of the party. They are the type of person you can call at four in the morning and say, I want to go have a good time. And they go, hold on a second. Let me get my shoes. Yeah. Maybe to start tapping into that. Maybe having fun more. Stop being so serious. Stop working so much. Uh, take a break sometimes. Enjoy yourself. Nothing wrong with money. But if you can't spend it, what's the point in it? Because you can't take it with you. Period. <laughs> that's literally that's <laughs> what else can you say? Now look at this beautiful card here. I mean it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Queen of Pentacles. As you can see, she is sitting on her throne. She got her eyes closed. She is meditating. She feels amazing. She's not worried about anything. This is a card of Earth. So this is definitely a good card for you guys to have because this card here signifies that she has all her ducks in a row. And you see how she's holding on to her pentacle? But she's not, but she doesn't have it in a death grip. The reason she doesn't have this in a death grip is because she knows this is hers. Okay? And that nobody else is going to take it. And this need for change is what you're, what we're into now. Okay? So in the past, um, you may have heard people tell you, or you, you even know this about yourself. Um, you may have noticed... There was a lot of work and home conflicts that you've had. Uh, maybe you kind of butt heads with the supervisor or you butt head with your coworkers. You know, you got such a leadership type of personality that even if you're more of the subordinate, it's hard for you to be in that role at work. But you have to understand if you don't like that role, then you should work hard to be the boss of where you are because if you're sitting there and you're trying to tell the captain how to run their ship you're going to end up without a job okay you're going to end up without a spouse if you're not working together and you're always sitting there going you did this wrong you need to do that but it don't worry about what i do you need to do that you're going to end up by yourself and i'm sure you've heard this a lot that you can be okay and I, I get real on here let's, let's just keep it real I'm sure a lot of you've heard and I know you have because <laughs> I see some people getting ready to roll their eyes uh, selfish jealous insecure greedy materialistic gold digger gold digger gold digger okay whoo y'all love money intolerant self-absorbed and envious yes the one that sticks out the most to me is greedy and the other one that sticks out to me is jealous now all of these are now i know that those were hard to hear but this is the card of change okay this is the card of change so in order to get to her level this is what you guys need to do you need to practice being more nurturing you need to learn how to be financial <laughs> Financially balanced, emotionally balanced, you need to gain stability because once you do these things, once you do this, you're going to rise to her level. You're not going to be so money hungry because it's going to be right there in your hand. Okay? You're going to have the abundance that you're looking for if you relax. Okay? Pull the reins back a little bit. Be more kind to your partner in the future, okay? Now, another thing you need to do when it comes to your partners in the future, you want somebody like this, okay? For the, for the women out there, you want to possess these qualities, okay? Nobody's perfect. You're not going to be 100%. But if you want a king, you got to be a queen. 
If you want a queen, you gotta be a king. Okay? And if you want these things, you can't go looking for page type people. Okay? Very immature, very playing around, very childish like ways. If you want to step your game up and you want to get you somebody like this, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to raise your standards. And by raising your standards, it starts with self. Okay? You're going to have to start treating yourself better. Okay? Start treating yourself better. You see how she's sitting here? She's dolled up. She is the best looking thing out there in the woods. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head. But she's the best looking thing I hear in the woods. And that's because regardless of what is going on, baby, she is together. Mind, body, and soul. So, yeah, definitely raise your standards when it comes to dating people, okay? Um, please, everybody does not need to be a partner. Whew. Be mindful of who you choose, please. I, I'm talking to some specific people. You all know you like a type of... Rough around the edges type of chick or dude. Okay, everybody is not relationship material. Please be mindful of who you bring home. So, <laughs> please be mindful of who you bring home. <laughs> oh my God. So we're down to the last one. Oh my goodness. So this is the hanged man in reverse. Okay, and I'm going to explain a little bit of that so you guys can understand. Um... The overall in this reading is all about timing, okay? It's reminding you that you need to take your time, okay? You need to open yourself up. This is what number five is. Number five is all about opening yourself up, okay? Um, in the past, you've been someone that um, I would say showed like a, a lack of interest. Maybe in relationships or maybe things that you were doing showed a lot of um, stagnation. Maybe avoided arguments or... Um, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Avoided uh, having deep talks with your partners. Avoided sacrificing for your partner. You know, in the relationship, um, you kind of left a lot of things at a standstill. If they asked you questions, you just became stiff and rigid and refused to respond. And that is why your card is not in the upright position. Because in the upright position, this is somebody um, that. Is you see how she's kind of like at peace, even though she's sitting still, she's at peace with herself, and she's trying to figure out what direction she needs to go in her life. But when it's like this, you're basically avoiding any type of accountability for anything. And if you've heard this before, you know this card is definitely talking about you. So when I speak of time, you guys have to remember that you can't rush anything, okay? You can't rush relationships. You can't allow people to rush you. Tauruses, uh, um, Virgos, as well as Capricorns are not the type of signs that are to be rushed. So if there's anybody that's watching this video that are cross watchers, okay, and you're trying to figure out your partner or your future partner and you, you, you know, if they turn out to be someone that is earth or they have heavy earth in their chart, please understand this and understand it good. When you rush an earth sign, for the most part, a lot of them, if you rush them, they're very loyal people. And they'll even stay with you sometimes. Some of them, not all. I don't want people to get all. That's not me. Some will be with you. Some will stay with you, even if they don't have anything for you. Okay? And what they don't have with you, they'll go get it from somebody else. Okay? I'm just keeping it real. There is a lot of loyal Taurus, Virgos, <laughs> and Capricorns that have a whole relationship out there, okay? But because some of them don't have the, 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 the balls, all right, to tell you that they don't have anything for you, they will stay with you while getting what they really want from outside people, whether that be sexually, emotionally, physically, or financially, okay? And they'll do that with a smile on their face and they'll come back and kiss you. Not all of them, but I'm just saying, if I hurt your feelings, that means I'm talking about you. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely remember that love cannot be rushed. Um, avoid people that try to rush you into relationships. Okay, that is not healthy, especially for earth signs. It is not healthy. Don't allow anybody to rush you. That's why I said raise your standards. Okay, find out why this person is so quick to be in a relationship with you and they don't even know you. 
Okay, only thing they know is what you've done in that bedroom or what restaurant you took them to. Okay, find out what could be going on because that person could be, okay, they could be a gold digger. Okay, a gold digger is the negative of this card here okay that is the reverse you can run into people that are gold diggers that are self-absorbed they can be all the things that i mentioned of you that you may be fighting against you may end up finding out that you always date people that are pretty much jealous type super jealous on um, the type of people that are always arguing with you about work about home about finances they're very insecure they're very greedy materialistic self-absorbed envious intolerant all the things that i mentioned that are the negatives when it comes to you and that you need to work on them if you possess those are the type of partner you're going to keep getting if you don't fix all of this that's why i say get paper and pencil Watch this video as much as you can. Share this video with other earth signs. Okay, and this is not just for sun. This is for um, rising. This is for... <laughs> My light just went out. Give me one second. So, let's flip this card over and see what type of things your partner will possess. Ooh, nine of pentacles look how happy she is she's like give me my pentacles she looks so happy look at her hair flowing look at that curly hair so this card is in the upright position and when it is in the upright position this basically talks about a person who is very independent financially uh this person is very abundant uh this person loves luxury oh sounds a lot like your earth signs and hey actually you might be meeting the person that this card is, it might actually be a person that is an earth sign or heavy in earth because the card of pentacles are earth. So, ooh, maybe uh, you Tauruses might end up with a Capricorn or you Virgos may end up with a Taurus. It just depends. It just depends. But yeah, let's talk more about this. So, yeah, you're definitely going to um, meet someone in the near future or maybe a little further out. Uh, if you do, guys, come back to the video, comment, like, you know, just let me know. <laughs> let me know if it resonated with you. But, yeah, you're definitely going to meet someone with these different uh, qualities. And they're going to have an equal balance of emotions and uh, communication, too. And here's the thing. Um... Most importantly, in order for you to uh, not only get but keep a partner like this, okay, you're going to have to work on your self-worth. You're going to have to work on balance, okay, and I'm always coming back to work because I know there are a lot of people here that is resonating with work, okay, you're hearing work, work, work a lot in this reading, and that is because it keeps coming back to that, because there are a lot of people here that are hearing this, and they're like, you know what, maybe I didn't pay attention before, but yeah, this is my problem, so yeah, another thing uh, you have to remember, in order to get a partner like this, you're going to have to raise your standards, okay, so you're not going to be out here still chasing people that are not for you, and you want someone like this, okay? Uh, you know, and this is no judgment on anybody that may not be in a certain position in life, but you don't, but it's what it's basically telling you is don't settle. You've done enough of that in the past. That is why you were here watching this reading. You need to make sure that you do not settle. You need to have a good balance of love and independence, okay? Because I know that one thing about it, Taurus will, and, and Virgos and Capricorns will give, give, give of their time and everything and be the shoulder. But you guys also need time for yourselves. And you also need to appreciate what you have. And you know what makes you more attractive? Is when you have a good balance of love and independence. You need to have a good healthy mix of the two. Well, guys, this is the end of this reading. I didn't expect this to be as long. I don't know why my singles readings are so long. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Please like, comment, share. Share this video with everyone that can relate to this. Um, and I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.